and then he's just going to bring them all in at once to snipe these tanks, I think. Well, I think Hwasan is in control of this game. It would be uh, very bad if he lost from this point on. And I do think Up Magic is going to take his third base. I see him sneaking over there at the 9 o'clock. And he's building another factory in the meantime here. Just trying to get some troops out to deal with this. But, oh, some more siege tanks coming out here. Another wraith out for Hwasan. And we'll see if Hwasan pulls in his wraith now or if he waits. And it looks like Up Magic has abandoned his plan for the third base. He's bringing his SCV away from the 9 o'clock. And he's pulling it down the map for whatever reason. Ray's coming in, not going to look good for this all-tank army, that's for sure. So Up Magic's going to have to unsiege and fall back to his base while he's building his armory so he can get some Goliaths out to deal with Ray's. That was, uh, looks like Up Magic tried to scout into the base with that SCV, but it didn't work out for him. Ray's coming in, sniping everything because the armory isn't even, isn't even out for Up Magic right now. He's just in such dire straits with his all tank army. Machine shop spinning, so I think he's getting Charon boosters right now while he gets his uh, Goliaths out of those factories. Trying desperately to repair his SCV and his tank at the same time. Repairing the SCV that's repairing the tank. So meta, man. Now he's attacking. Oh, no, he's repairing another SCV while the SCV's trying to repair the tank. Oh, wow. Now I think that Hwasan is tightening the noose. And I think he will take this game, even though there are some Goliaths out now for uh, Up Magic. He's going to be able to fend the race off, race off temporarily. But in the meantime, I think Hwasan is going to take his third base. I think he's taking it already at the 12 o'clock. And yeah, not looking good. Here comes the drop ship. So it looks like Hwasan is going to do some economic harassment with those tanks soon. Up Magic is inching out, trying to eliminate the threat here by taking out the tanks that are trying to contain him at his natural. And oh, the control tower is up, so I think we're going to see a lot more drop ships here. Here comes one drop ship coming back, going to drop tanks right next to the main, it looks like. And uh, yeah, Hwasan's just going to siege his tanks up there and try to take out as many SCVs as he can. And he's dropping the tanks right now. And it looks like Up Magic didn't even see that. Oh, he's dropping Goliaths. Never mind. So <laughs> he's bringing his Goliaths to uh, take out some stuff there. He has a lot of Goliaths, so he can spare a couple to do some economic harassment, definitely. Up Magic's moving up the map. He's going to try to end it right now because this is pretty much his last shot. He's going to try to go in here and uh, take out the forces. But no, he's falling back. I'm not sure what Up Magic is up to here. He's falling back uh, to his main right now because I guess he thinks uh, well, he was trying to lure, uh, uh, fl uh, not Flash, but Wasson over there so he could take out some tanks. It looks like he does manage to get rid of these tanks. I think he will maybe be able to bring in a barracks and uh, get the site he needs to take out this tank army. Lots of dropships coming in. Hwasan is taking an even bigger advantage by having that base up there at the 12 o'clock. And I think he's taking a base down there at the 5 o'clock as well. So he's definitely taking the economic advantage in this game. Dropping all of his units on the main here. Looking horrible for Up Magic. Up Magic doesn't have nearly enough to deal with uh, this amount. Well, he's bringing in his SCVs. So his SCVs will take out the siege tanks. There's still one Goliath in here picking at SCVs, though, and he and Hwasan has stopped the mining down here at the main. So I think that drop was successful. Picking off a <laughs> Goliath before the, his own Goliath goes down. It looks like Up Magic has a... Uh, well, I think I saw some drop ships from him. Maybe. Might have seen things wrong there, but there are definitely a lot of drop ships out for Hwasan. Yep, Hwasan has three drop ships out now, so he's just going to dr keep dropping on the main, probably. M might drop on this natural a time or two. And there's a turret being built, so uh, Up Magic will know if <laughs> uh, if Up Magic tries to get out of his base here. Hwasan building that turret there to stop a command center from coming up, too, I think. If uh, uh, Magic tries to float a command center over and take a third base, he's going to be in for a rude surprise with that turret there. Here comes more troops from Hwasan. He's bringing in a huge army. 
And I think this will be the final blow because he has turrets everywhere. So he's going to keep uh, up magic from getting any kind of counter harassment done or drop chips or anything or braze. He's taking that 12 o'clock just fine. And he's taking the 5 o'clock, I believe. Building up here at the uh, 9 o'clock as well. So he's getting bases everywhere. And he's just going to starve up magic out eventually. Up magic's going in here trying to eliminate this uh, turret threat. But I don't even think it matters at this point. Uh, Hwasen has so many more troops. He has 115 population versus up magic 60. Yeah, not looking good. Up magic being scanned there, trying to repair his tanks mid game. Yep, such a huge economic advantage for Hwasen at this point. Unbelievable how many more minerals he's going to be taking in. He has about 1,300 uh, against uh, Up Magic's 100 right now. So he has so many minerals he doesn't even know what to do with them at this point. He's going to have to build a lot more production buildings. Yep, he can end this anytime he wants, I think. He definitely doesn't want to uh, lose an advantage, though, like he did in his uh, game against Flash. He had the advantage, but he lost it eventually because he let his guard down and uh, let his bases be attacked. Comes some siege tanks from Hwasen, just picking off some troops from Up Magic. Up Magic's going to continue to hang on as long as he can, because that's just what you do in the final set of a series. But I think Up Magic pretty much knows it's over by now, since there's no real way he can get a third base at this point. And it looks like uh, I think Hwasen is working from four bases at this point. Might be thinking about taking a fifth soon as well, which is pretty crazy. Okay, here comes the drop ships. I think this will pretty much be over. He's bringing in his entire army. Huge army, just blowing up everything up Magic has. It looks like Hwasen is going to move into the round of eight. Which I think he deserves. He's been playing top notch recently. He did a great job fending off that early pressure from up Magic. And he, a brilliant tech switch from him to go for raise as well, to just to eliminate the tank threat. And now his entire army is just bearing down on Up Magic. And Up Magic is turtling. Do what Terrans do best: turtle, 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 turtle. Teenage mutant ninja Terrans. This dropship chasing the other dropship. <laughs> Dropships like I'm gonna get you, other dropships. Nope, you're not. So there's a unit drop, just trying to. I'm not sure what kind of bomb that was, if it was a vulture bomb or a tank bomb, but he was trying to drop on top of the siege tanks to uh, get the siege tanks to siege themselves, but didn't work out too well. Oh, GG from Up Magic. He knew there was no way to get a third base. So Up Magic is out of the OS uh, OSL, sorry, and Hwasen is moving into the round of eight. Hwasen is a great player. He's really impressed me recently. I, I always knew that he was a good player, but I never knew he was this great deep down. He has such good ability to deal with the top level players like Jadong and Best and Flash. He can beat anyone on a good day, really. So, moving on to Group D now, the useless group.